Okay, here we go. We've got game one of Taris Bulber and Fear versus Captain Toucan and Tog. Now, Tog and Captain Toucan on the left over here, playing as the 79th Tank Division and 79th Tank Division. So two tank divisions on our left-hand side for Pact. And on the right, we have two 8th Infantry Divisions for NATO. We're going to do a little run-through of all the units on each side and where they're going. Kind of check out the opening tactics we've got going on here. Game's going to start at about 4 minutes 30, so we're just going to select these for Tog. Go to his perspective. I want to see... There we go. Okay, so we have got rundown of all the units we've got going on in here a ton of multi key with bmp ones which of course have got the tank gun on them so they have got a little bit of penetration a little bit slower than these btr 60s just up ahead but they are going to be useful early game uh, six btr 60s with more multi key in and those are all heading all over this town here in Foxtrot to secure that. Now, interestingly, there's not a lot of units pushing towards center and delta. That could be a mistake, but we'll see. Now, up ahead here, we've got two BRM ones with the tank guns, and those are going to be pushing the front of the town there. We'll see if he diverts them anywhere else. We've got an early command, but like DM2 going into Juliet. And two uh, cubs, okay, at the lowest veteran C. They've got really low accuracy, so we'll see if those pay off and supply to keep them intact. We'll go over Captain Toucan. There we go. We'll see where he's going. So up front, we've got the Razvedka heavies in the BMP-1s early on. Now, oh, where are those going? We've got one going to this left side, pushing towards Alpha, and one pushing the center towards Delta. Uh, so, really not too much forward recon, which could be a mistake. You can really overload at the start of the game to get good positions. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, very infantry heavy, like the other side. We do have a TATB hidden away in here. It's a very strong unit. Let's see how that plays out. We have got four Igglers. And a turn of Motostroki Metis. Okay, so going for the early game kind of distance and playing off. We'll see where all of these units are going. We've got a nice spread. I'm trying to take this location here, which would be super important to cut off the center from this side. He's got a nice distribution of units there. Okay. Switch over to Thea. Okay, so a lot of recon. This is really powerful at the moment. We'll see how this plays out. Yosha Jaeger, Akful, loads of units of them. Alaras, two Bradleys, which are very strong units, quite expensive. And a Kaya West. There's a big investment in the recon here. And he's going very aggressively for the town here in Foxtrot. Which could be a smart play. If he gets pushed out and is denied on the edge of the town, then he's not going to fare too well, and that investment could be ruined. But if he can get in, it's going to be very hard to dislodge. And back here, we've got two command helos and a supply unit. That is a bold move. Where are these going? We've got one back here. Now, the issue with this one is if they can get a unit to come down this road and start pushing, he might have to relocate that a bit further into the corner so that they don't get line of sight. And he's got another one pushing in for here early on, which is a bold move. And no units pushing towards the centre. Okay. Have a look at Taris Bulba. There we go. Okay, so we do have some units pushing towards the centre. That is good. We've got an early command. We've got engineers and mech rifles with laws both pushing towards the center. Got M113 A3 with a dragon on and some scouts pushing down to here, which is a good spot for it because it can cover this road and the approaches down here and get side shots on. So that could be in a powerful position there. And he's actually gone quite conservatively into this town at the back here. 
So he's got some scouts with dragons as well. They're pushing here and here. This is a very conservative area to push. I'd like to see it a bit further up, say, in this area here. So you can get some nice line of sights and some distance. This one over to here is okay, but again, you want to be pushing up, trying to take a bit more territory, being a bit more aggressive off the bat. Now, if we look down here, we've got two stingers going off to the side here, which could leave this side open to uh, attacks from planes or helos. Uh, we've got an early command, M1A1 Abrams, pushing into this open air, which is a good choice. And we've got mech rifles, engineers and laws all pushing into the centre there. Okay, so that's everyone's forces, what their plans on doing. It's looking quite light in the centre. We're going to see how this plays out. Just fast forward until it gets started. And there we go. Okay, slow this down a little bit. Obviously, Theo was planning to get very aggressive over on this side and pushing into this town. We're going to see if it plays off. Because the amount of units he's got here in this Kiowa can do a lot of damage to these BRMs early on. Okay, speed up a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, these trucks are much faster than these BRMs as well, so they're going to get there a lot sooner. We've got an early jet coming in with the napalm see where he's targeting okay he's hitting the road there to block any reinforcements he has fortunately kind of timed up slowly and it looks like there is a little gap there it's kind of unfortunate it's kind of an issue with some of these cheaper jets it's got big napalm bombs but there is only two of them we have to see we've got the fight going on here. The BRMs were taken out early, but these Jägerakfall are really powerful. There's a lot of them in a unit. they got some strong weapons. Now, he has got the BTR support, Tog, so he's doing okay in that fight. We'll see how that plays out as the uh, BMPs come in and push in. Haven't got any reinforcements coming here. Okay, Captain Tukin has taken a nice early start into this zone here. As you can see, Taris deployed quite conservatively, and that's let Tukin come right in here. But he has made a mistake here. He's lost some units there by pushing his infantry too aggressively in the vehicles and not unloading. If he had unloaded his units a little bit beforehand, used the buildings to push up and push for the BTRs then, he could have made a nice aggressive push and not lost so many units. But he has made up great territory here. He's got his TATB pushing forwards. So got to be careful for these dragons here. As you can see, firing us around. And he has avoided that. I'm not sure if that was on purpose, but he has done a good job there. And it can see, and that is going to be a dead vehicle. Let's take a look at the center. Toucan has taken nice early control. These Metises can do a lot of damage from this position, looking up this road and this road here. Just with these engineers in there, you should be able to take nice control of the center point there. A lot of napalm jets and cluster planes have just come in here. Don't really seem to have done too much damage. Now, we do have fear with some vehicles doing a little bit of cheeky scouting. But it looks like TOG has made a nice push here and kind of, for the most part, pushed the fear out of that point. And he's got to be careful with this command helo here because that. It's definitely in danger. Let's see what he's got pushing back up. So we've got some engineers, just yeah, four units of engineers, some mech rifles, and an ITV tow. Okay. Now this plane is still in here for some reason. I think there is a glitch at the moment about evacuating planes, but that is taking its way out now. We've got a HE bomber coming in on this left side from Captain Toucan. Where's that gonna land? Oh, he's got in the command unit. That is a brilliant shot right there. Great bomb. Might have done a tiny bit of stress damage to his units here, but he's pushing after that, which is a very good job. We've got two tow cobras here. 
We're going to see if they can do a bit of damage to their rockets. Fortunately, these have only got 14 of the 70mm rockets, which isn't too great against infantry. They do have the 20mm, which will be okay. But he's got to be careful with them, keep an eye out for AA, which is back here at the moment, so it's not going to be too much help. We've got the fighting Balkans out in the middle. And no more forces pushing into the centre, really, from... Uh, from uh, NATO over here. Okay, we've got these engineers pushed in. See here, Tog should have been a little bit more aggressive, taking the edge of the town to stop this reinforcement from making its way in. He's got them all clumped up. He needs to spread out a bit and get control of this area nicely. Okay, he's got messes pushing in, which is good. He can get on the edge of the town and batter these units back. This command vehicle has switched over to this side due to the lack of presence from Tog. Oh, that was a close one. That big 31 almost took out that helo, but it's managed to land as a good way of getting the targeting off some of your helos if they are being shot at. Toucan has consolidated on this side. I'm sure he's pretty happy with his position. He's slowly going to bring in reinforcements and push up. It looks like TATB he had has been taken out. I'm not sure if it's by this M1A1 Abrams or these tow Cobras. No, they haven't fired anything yet unless they've resupplied. I can't see where it's gone down. Maybe in here? Have a little look. That's a BMP. I'll have to keep an eye out. We've got another one coming in anyway, so that should be fine. It's M1A13. Dragon is in trouble, but it has taken out a BMP-1. So they are putting up a little bit of resistance. These tow cobras aren't going to do too much, but they might put some pressure on. He's got. Look here, Tog's got a lot of units on this side. He can get aggressive and he can push out here and and deny fear this zone if he really need, if he really wants to. These BMPs bring them out to the side here and smash them up here. You're going to wreck loads of stuff here. He's also transport scouting from fear. This is something you want to change in your settings where you can target them. But Tog is very bunched up here. Spread out a bit more, get a bit more control. It's like we've kind of got equals pushing the towns and not much attention paid in the centre, but we do have a command vehicle coming out from Tog. And that is pushing into the trees here. It's kind of the standard spot, it's pretty predictable, but You'll get them the early point lead, as you can see. Terra, Spelba, and Fear are ahead by about 450, 60 points. But that could change very quickly. And it looks like Taris is bringing out a command tank to the center, an M60. Not a lot of armor, but still more than a usual command vehicle. You see this M1 Abrams getting targeted by this Mitsuki Metis. These aren't going to do too much damage from the front, but. A couple of them there, and they've got a supply vehicle with them, and these TATBs in the back here can push forwards to a lot of damage. Got a seed coming out, but not doing too much. There's just stingers in the field at the moment. We do have PVADs coming to the centre in this area here. Now we are seeing a big lack of presence here, which is open for a push up into uh, this back sector into Charlie. Obviously, we don't know how much Captain Toucan can see, so we'll just go into his perspective. He can't see any enemy units here. I would maybe be probing with these scouts and these igglers, pushing some units into this gap, trying to see what you can find, get control over this area. And I'll have control of centre, you can tack into the other flank of Alpha and push into Charlie. I'll look back over this side. Tog is not doing too much for these units. He's got this TATB pushing. It's quite isolated. Only three bars of health left. He needs to be careful with this unit. These mech rifles, if they push in closer, this tow cobra. I will be pulling this back, getting some supplies over to here, spreading this infantry out. And you can you can do a lot of damage with this TATB if you're careful with it. You've got an M1 Abrams pushing up. That's not going to have a good time in this city against all of this infantry. More infantry pushing up as well. The fight for the center is going on. We've got an M2, M60s here. And there's not much to counter them. All these Sapiri, we've only got demolition charges. Tog's going to want to do something about that, and he just might move those TATBs and TATUK. 
So that TATU, I'm guessing, is going to be heading down to this zone. It is into these trees here. That's going to be a strong hold of that unit there. That's going to be very hard to dispel. Cluster bombs just come in. And on transport, okay. Um, sure, I mean, probably better ways to deal with that. Maybe we go after this Abram and Abrams, if we can see from Tox perspective. You see, this is a big issue, not knowing what you're looking at. If these units spread out, but you start to get better vision, get some recon on the flanks, and you'll be doing a, a lot better, but he's in a very solid position. Either way, he can push forward aggressively. I think he's just building up the moment, and there we see that TATB getting repaired. It's a very good job there. If he had recon over this area here, he'd know exactly where this was, and he could take it out quite easily. Looks like Taris Bulba has got a nice push going in centre. There's not too much there. And this M60 command tank is coming in. It's going to neutralise that zone. We can see those M60s did get taken out. Oh, and we've got a cluster bomber coming in against infantry. That's not going to do too much there. HE against infantry for the most part. Clusters against vehicles. There's a HE bomber coming in. Is that going to get them? Ooh, it's done a decent amount of damage. And it is routed them, but you're going to need more units to take advantage of that. We've just seen a plane get taken out here. Probably an AA MiG-31, maybe. Okay, so Tog has settled in the RDM here, and there is a JTUK here. So we've got two command vehicles over here. Maybe not the best. Maybe get some of these units going over into the... Uh, the center here. Where's this TAB going? There we go. So TATB is pushing into the center. That's going to be really good. This Rasvedka Heavy is pushed over here. And we've got two TABs coming to take out these AA units, that PVAD there. Two more M60s pushing into the center. It looks like Tog has lost a lot of units here sure what's happened there. It looks like maybe some bombs, cluster strikes could have gone off. But we have got an MI-8 with rockets coming in. This could be good if not for these PVADs which are going to tear this MI-8 apart. It has got a lot of health but as you can see it is quickly getting demolished. We have got a cluster plane back here. Looking very nice. Only two bombs on it so it's quite hard to use that one. TATB is engaging these M60s in this. These engineers it hasn't quite got sight on these yet. It should do. No, it's still engaging them. It has taken them out. It's going to want to target these M60s because that command has just been taken out. And look at that. Delta has fallen. Got a TATB in the town here. I'm not sure if this is a wise decision. It can get flanked by these mech rifles, these laws, getting side shots into it, it's going to get wrecked. You want to push it more into these open spaces where it can engage from a distance and retreat quite easily. Okay, TATB's pushing into the centre here from Captain Toucan. These M60s are not going to have a good day against that, but close range they can actually do a decent amount of damage against that TAB and that has been taken out. That is a massive kill. M60s are very cheap, TATBs not so much. I'm surprised there's not more focus in the centre. Harris, Bulber and Fear have got the free bus lead from Delta. And it looks like this side has fallen apart for Tog. Coming in, we'll have a little look around. Captain 2 can bring in a lot of infantry. Let's see where it's all going. Yeah, he's pushing into the center. Yeah, all of that's coming into the center. He's going to sweep through this unless Taris, Bulber, and Fear can get some more resistance in here. This BRDM is in a very bad spot in Tom's command. We've got TATB pushing up, but these M1 Abrams going to start to get eyes on. We're going to need we need some infantry into this zone. And it looks like they've taken Foxtrot. It's 
TATB has been hit by these mech rifles, I believe, and it is pulling back. It's going to need a bit of infantry support. And this Igla is out of ammo, so make sure you want to micro these a bit closer together. Get that Igla, Igla reinforced with more rockets. Now, let's have a look at Tukin's perspective, because he is being quite conservative here. You know, he's not sure what's in there. You want to be pushing this scout. You can push them up this hill, and you can get good eyes on them. most of the zone from up here. That's definitely worth doing. We had cluster come in here onto these units, which is where there was two Abrams tanks. One's over there. One's, another one's being called out, I believe. Oh, there's a wreck of units in here. Yeah, that's an Abrams taken out there. Yeah, it's just a fire. He did take some stuff out there. He's got some artillery coming in. I'm not quite sure about this investment. You definitely want some infantry just to shore this up. Because the position fear has in the centre is very strong. I don't think he even needs more units to secure this. He could do it with what he's got. I'd start pushing into the centre some more. Got an A10 Thunderbolt coming in on this side. And a bunch of HE over here on this side. And those are great runs coming in. That one's missed a bit, unfortunately. We've got a cluster coming in as well. And that is going back here. And that's taking the dragon out. We've got an M1 Abrams command vehicle and the Mac Rifles leaders. This position is not looking too great with a lack of infantry. Maybe you should have diverted a few of these units over here to secure this defence. So we've got the nice flank from Paris coming down onto them. He might be able to push them out of this zone. Obviously a 5 plus lead now, they've secured this area, that A10 Thunderbolt is going to push back. Might have done some decent damage to some units down here, but it has been taken out. Those MiG-23s are probably going to make it out okay. They have an issue with the Thunderbolt and the SU-25. They can do damage, but they are slow and susceptible to getting taken out. This BRDM has come back into this zone, but it needs to be careful. That's a good spot for it. If it can shuffle forwards a little bit, but this infantry is pushing, and you're going to need some stuff to counter that. Here we go. Captain Duke has got a lot of units in the centre here, and he's start pushing in aggressively. We've got a nice cluster bomb coming in here. Oh, no kills, but it has pushed them out of the zone. That's really important. That's going to stop these tickets bleeding. I'd love to see a bit more infantry push into here. At this point, you just want to build up and secure this position here as best you can, but that command vehicle has been taken out. You need infantry support on this flank, and this has been lost. At this point, can you retake Foxtrot? I'm not so sure. Secure the defences on Juliet and this place here. Fortify those. Push into, this, into the centre, into Delta. Push up here into Charlie and Alpha. You don't want to butt your head against the big wall of infantry and defences that they've got here. Because you'll just get wrecked, you'll use, lose a lot of units. As we can see here, we've got loads of infantry in the centre. We've got all these units back here, not doing anything at the moment. You'd love to see these kind of remobilised, move up down here into this area to attack this flank, or pushed up here. You want to be doing something with these units for sure. But as we can see, Pact has now got a plus one, so start regain some of those points there behind. There we go, we do see some more Melt Stroke coming in from Toucan. Hopefully they can save this T-80B as it is in a rough spot right now. He's got a lot of support. Looks like he's going to be okay here pushing back in, but he does want to secure this flank for sure. Okay, I'm not sure what he's going to do with them. Maybe he's waiting for some more reinforcements. But you don't want to see just secure position. Start pushing. Start putting pressure on this flank here. Because Taris Boba and Thea haven't got any defense in here other than this M1. If these units start pushing. These BMPs start pushing behind. You can surround all of these units here. You can decap this zone. You could even push down into this area here. Into Gulf. These units aren't going to be doing much good. What have we got? Ah, you can see all of these units being redirected up into this zone. He's not going to push into here. 
think that's a wise decision. Start redirecting your attack and your forces. And I'd love to see Tukum pushing out more and getting aggressive. Oh, this command vehicle has just pushed out of this zone here. Which is obviously not good at all, because it's back to a plus one. NATO, that cluster strikes come in onto that M1 Abrams, but it has missed and it did get shot down, unfortunately. That mill strike is very damaged, and these mech rifles are pushing in. No infantry support here, no help, and this TATB is in serious danger. It's managed to face its front armor, but it's it's going to be in big trouble. We got some spet hats pushing up here, which is a bold move. But it's a good one. There's no AA here. Obviously, these M11A3s can do a bit of damage with their machine guns. I've got the TATU in the center. That's not going to be pushed out anytime soon. We're going to see what these Spetnaz can do. These mech rifles might cause some issues. But these rockets should be able to absolutely smash these mech rifles. Let's see what if he can see the command. He can't. Oh, and he stopped. Okay, he's going. He's moving this way. And he's poured the. Come on. Bunch of bombs coming in. Uh, okay, neutral. It looks like units did get taken out there. Those Spetnaz have dropped, but they're in the middle of the open. This MIA is not having a good time. Okay, he's got. No rockets really gotten off. Fighting Falcon get targeted by these MiGs. Is it going to make it out? I think it is. It is. These Spetnaz are not in a good spot. They're pulling back this way. He got so close to that command. That would have been really good. You see some transport scouting from Fear here. He's probably realised this area is clear. He's got this secured and he's pushing into the centre of these aero rifles. As you can see, he's got the space to do it because... Tukum has not gone aggressive with these units. If he can push up, secure these tree lines here, he's in a great spot. Hopefully he can get in there, get that bit more secure. He's got some units here, which aren't moving at the moment. Presumably they're going to push it down here, or up here, depending on how these specs do. The plane's just been taken out from that stinger right there, which is now out of ammo. And there is not a lot of resistance on this side. Some air rifles coming in, M60s. I'd really love it. Tarn Captain Tukin just to start getting a bit more aggressive, start pushing. They've got the plus one point, but they wanna wanna get a bit more than that. Wanna have the zone secured like Fear does up here. We have got units pushing down here. Again, Tog, you know, want to look at your settings should see target transports. It's in rules of engagement, you can do that. Let's see what these TABs can do. They don't have support from infantry or air, so they've got to be careful about that. There is an M1 Abrams here, which at the moment doesn't have eyes on, but as you can see, we've got another one moving over this direction. Got just engineers in here, really. Not too many anti tank units, they're all over here. So this could be a good push if we can take out these M1 Abrams and push down this side. Going over to the centre, we've got air rifles pushing in. They're pretty beat up. This Cobra is not going to have a good time here. They're going to be pushing into a lot of hurt. That M1 Abrams has got taken out by these BMP2s, which are at elite, so they're going to be very accurate. But they are running out of ammo. We've got HE Bomber coming in here to take out this infantry. We're going to see how that does. That is a shame. It looks like it missed quite a lot, but it has pushed those units back. M1 Abrams getting targeted by these BMP2s, Falcon Falcons coming in, not taking out their target. There's not a lot of AA in the centre here, which could be a real issue. As you can see, Napalm's coming in on these units. That's a little bit of damage to this one here. Forced this one away a bit, but they're not too badly damaged. We've got Napalm coming in here. And no AA, really, apart from this cub, which is in these trees. Not very helpful. Love to see a bit more of an extensive AA network. We do see these tanks pushing into the town, which could be very dangerous without infantry support. We've got a cluster bomber coming in here. See how that target's going after this. Command Abrams. It's done a lot of damage, but it's not killed it. We do see Tukum pushing down this side. 
with those units I was talking about earlier, which is great. They're going to take a lot of ground here and help take the pressure off this front. This Strela here is out of ammo. This Higgler's out of ammo. He's only got two shots left. Need a bit more supplies coming in here. And it does look like he is bringing it in for this one here. So I'll bite on my words there. Higgler's falling back, which is a good choice. Got these BMPs set up right in the middle here. It's a good position. It's TATU on the left. Maybe a bit of infantry this side to secure this. Because he's pretty blind to this area. I would be pretty wary of that. These TATBs are just sitting here at the moment. There's no more Ravens just there, but they can't see. It looks like he's investing in a lot of artillery to help in the center, maybe. Let's see where those are. Can you see where those are targeting? Over here. Okay, going for the command vehicles. Okay. I would really love to see those targets in this infantry here, because they could do a lot of damage. They're not going to do so much unless they get pretty good hits onto those M1 Abrams. So it's not doing a lot. I much prefer them going for soft targets like this infantry here. You can see these mech rifles pushing across the hills here towards these Mildestrelki down here. They are getting engaged on that hill. We're seeing a Bit of a turn in the center here. If these units can push across, there's a lot of mech rifles here. AA starting to come in. Units coming in on this side. This Spetnas has engaged these mech rifles, but they are still alive in the back there. These TATBs have pushed up, took out the M1 Abrams, but they have lost one of their vehicles and are getting engaged by these LRS with their laws. We'll see how they do. If he is aware of this, he's going to start pushing some of these units over to this side. Tog is bringing in more TATBVs, but no infantry. I think that's what's really been the downfall here, is the lack of infantry in this later bit of the game. These BMP2s have been taken out, but they are going to do a lot of damage on these units. Crossing the open here, as you can see. There's another rocket going. Let's see if that's going to hit. It's missed. That BMP2 is doing great work. We've got a Raven coming in here and a HE bomber from Captain Toucan. That has taken out one of the squads, a little bit of damage to the others. As you can see on this left side, not enough infantry. And T Captain Toucan's TAT UK is in a lot of trouble. These units can get to it and engage. He needs to pull that back, get some supplies in there. Otherwise, he's going to lose that, and that is worth a lot of money. That's 400 points for that. Do not want it. You got a TATB coming in here, maybe try and tank some of the fire. This is a flash, it's not gonna do too much of that TAT UK has gone down. It's 400 points he could have saved there. That's unfortunate. As you can see, he has pushed right through this side, which is great work. He needs to find this CV. If he can take that out, he's gonna be in a great position. We have got two command vehicles coming in here, which are both going into the center here. Okay, uh, TATU's coming in from Captain Toucan. That is a lot of points right there. 900 points. It's obviously got quite a few. This A10 Thunderbolt has come in, probably hitting these targets here. He desperately he's found it. Now, I think Chopper's landed still take a ton of damage, more than they should, less than they should even. But he has taken that out. And that should neutralize that zone. And cut off a lot of reinforcements coming in. This Thunderbolt is making its way forwards with its cannon. Not doing too much with that. We have got Toe Cobra, which could do more. That artillery is starting to target its infantry. A little too late. TAB has cleared up stuff on that side. And it looks like most of the push and infantry on this side was taken out. And there, disconnects from the game. Taris Bulb, but Taris Bulb has been defeated. He might have just lost connection there. We'll, uh, keep playing. So he's on this side. He's all, got an all right position. Oh, where are those going? I 
think we might be running low on units as we're getting free command infantry coming out. That may be all that Captain Tukin has left to bring in. I've got cubs here, in the woods here. Center has been capped. What have we got here? An M1 Abrams. Oh, M1 Abrams has been taken out by its TATUs. This one is really low. I'd kind of love to see that pulled back a bit, get it repaired, keep those things alive. We've got infantry pushing in here on these TATBs. I would really just pull out of this side of the tree line and trench yourself over here. You've got a bit of distance, you can engage. These TATUs are getting battered by these air rifles. One's gone down. This one may go down as well if it specifically targets that. It might be worth doing. Taras Bilbrum Fear have got the plus three and it has just been neutralized again. These tanks have pushed right in. We've got the command infantry pushing in on this side. We can bring that in, he can capture. We've got M1A on Abrams pushing in here behind these units. This side is starting to get contested again. Have a back look at the center. We've got these mech rifles here getting engaged by these helicopters with a lot of rockets. That's really going to mess their day up. Still got mech rifles here. TATUs get side shot by these aero rifles. And now be engaged by that last TATU. Units here, you want to start using those if you're running out. We've got tanks pushing through the middle here. More TATUs. Captain Dugan has got TATUs four days and he is going to use them for anything he well desires including destroying these M60s who haven't really got a chance oof goodbye that did get a, a side shot I believe and only take two so we've got command infantry pushing in here now. That Raven's not doing too much because there isn't really a lot of AA in this area here. Okay, they're up to the plus seven now. Having taken full control of this zone on this right, down to a plus five. We've got a HE bomber coming in onto this side. It does miss those mac rifles just there. And these tanks have been taken out here. Yeah, more command infantry coming in, but it's not really going to be doing too much. I wouldn't waste my time, really, unless you're going to push into this zone here. Look at this open ground here. Get some infantry set up here. Push your tanks into these tree lines over here as well. And just hold there. And focus on the other areas where you've got the point of advantage coming in. We still don't have a CV for back here. It's just been moved out by Taris Bulba, which would be the AI at this point, which is no surprise at doing dodgy things. Do you have a command unloaded just at this back point here? But it's got to be careful about these Mac rifles. Like I said, TATUs coming into those tree lines, but they do need some infantry to help them out. Mac rifle leader coming into the center to neutralize that point. MI-24V destroying those mech rifles but it is now out of rockets got to push a bit closer to get in range of that yak b do have a command leader here but it is ai so they're not going to push over here where these two taeus are just holding down this this ro these roads here look at them turning and are they going to engage oh, not quite they haven't got too much of an opening there just into there kind of love to see them Push forwards into that area, push forwards there, really push in and just secure that as best you can. So that stinger has just gone right, right through. Is this Abrams going to do the same? Artillery pushing to the, targeting the centre here. It looks like that has taken out the command infantry and that is the game over. So minor victory for Captain Deacon and Tog. Fury and Taris Bulba have lost. Taris Bulba did disconnect towards the end there, but I'm not so sure how much it would have changed the outcome of the game. Um, what a game, back and forth. Captain Tukin and Fear doing really good jobs. Everyone else pretty equal as far as games go. It was a big back and forth. You had big pushes on either town on each side, and the centre towards the end was really starting to heat up. Uh, we'll have a little look. I'm trying to think of whose perspective I am in here. I 
back to all right units. And one A one Abrams doing a good job there. A lot of losses. Lots of losses. Those TAUs at the end are very strong. There we go. That is game one between Captain Duke and Tog versus Fear and Taris Bulba.